I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We will understand how to find intersection of planes in this particular example. The question is, for the following system of equations, determine the values of k, which result in one solution, infinite number of solutions, and no solution. So we are given three planes here. You need to find the value of k for which we could have one solution, infinite solution, and no solution. Well, when we say infinite solutions, we basically mean that it will be a line, right, which is common. These planes are not coincident, and therefore, we cannot have a plane as a solution, correct? Okay. So, we'll, let's use the augmented matrix, rhoic line method to solve for uh, and, and then find the value of k. So, writing this as an augmented determinant, we get this as uh, minus 5, 1, 2, and that is minus 1 for us, right? Here we have 3, 1, 2, 1, and the last one is 6. 2 k square is the coefficient of z and here we have the term k. We'll go for infinite number of solutions. We'll make the last row equal to 0 and that k also equal to 0 to find the solution. So that is the strategy. Okay. So first step, let's try to make these two numbers as, as 0. Right. So what we could do here is... Uh, uh, in this equation, we can do 2 times R2, R3 minus, we can say R3 minus 2 times R2. We could do that, right? Okay. Uh, 2 times R2. So, we'll keep the first one same, which is minus 5, 1, 2. Sorry, minus 1. Okay. We can also simultaneously make this as 0. So, we'll do more calculations. To make this 0, I have to multiply that by 5 and this by 3. So, what we are trying to add here is 3 times R1 plus 5 times R2, right? So, then we can make this as 0. So, we'll do... Uh, two things simultaneously okay so uh, so here we do when we multiply we get 15 and this is uh, also 15 by adding we get 0 as expected now if I do this three times and this is five times and add them up in that case I get 8 here and here for uh, three times to a six 5 times 2 is 10, and so we get 16 here. 3 times this is minus 3, and this is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. Is that clear, right? So that is how we are going to get this one. And now here, we are multiplying this equation by 2. So if I do that, I get this as 0, taking away. Now, 2 times this is 2. And when I take 2 from this 2, we again get 0, right? Now in R3, uh, it is k square. Let me write here k square. 2 times R2 means we are taking away 2 times 2, which is 4. Now here, we are taking away 2 times 2, which is k minus 2. So, we did two operations, slightly more complicated. However, I hope you understand what we did here. Now, the idea here is that we actually get infinite solutions when if we could make k square minus 4 equals to 0 and if you could make k minus 2 equals to 0, you get the idea, right? 
So if k square minus 4 is 0, then k is equal to plus minus square root of 4, which gives us plus minus 2. And here we get the condition k equals to 2. So as you can see, k equals to 2 means we get infinite solutions. Right, so if that is the case, if I put k equals to 2, then we'll get our augmented matrix as minus 5, 1, 2, minus 1, 0, 8, 16, 2. And we get here 0, 0, 0, 0, right? Do you understand? So this is for k equals to 2. And that gives you infinite solutions since this is one parameter, which is the line, right? So this results into a line. Correct? Now, if k is not 2, but if it is minus 2, so this is case A and B, if I take k equals to minus 2, if I take k equals to minus 2, in that case, what I get here is something like this. It's very important to understand this concept, and therefore, I'm taking my time here. So we do get 0, 0, 0 here, but if it is minus 2, we get minus 4 here. Do you understand? And since 0 is not equal to minus 4, we have no solution. Correct? So k equals to minus 2 means no solution for us. Now anything else, so, so if k is not equal to plus minus 2, then the intersection of the planes will be a point, right? So we have one solution. So that is one solution. Is that clear to you, right? So that is how we could actually solve this particular question. So what we get here as our answer here is that for one solution, k is not equal to plus minus 2. For infinite solutions, k is equal to, which we found here as 2. And for no solution or 0, you can write k equals to minus 2. Clear? So that is how we are going to solve this particular question. I hope you understand the concept. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. I'll attach many videos in one uh, list so that you can see how to work with intersection of lines, intersection of planes in one particular folder. I'd like you to watch that and understand the whole concept. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.